Welcome, this is the EOC Algebra 1 practice test number three, the test number three. Question number four. The question says the cost of production, and they're defining that as the variable C, of producing X number of electronic goods in one year is modeled by the equation C equals 145X plus 1250. What does the slope in this situation represent? So a couple things I need to do. I'm going to write down the equation just so I can work with it a little better. Now this looks significantly like slope intercept form which says this y equals mx plus b. There's two major components in slope intercept form. There's the slope and the intercept because that's what I need to sort of make my machine where I put in an x value and I get a y value that pops out. My slope here is defined by my m and my intercept is defined by b. And what they mean in real life, slope represents uh, change. Legitimately, it means how much change each time. So for every x, how much does the y value change? B would represent sort of a starting point. It's what happens anyway. So in my equation, when I go back and look at it, um, I could get, it tells me that C is the cost, so I'm going to write cost underneath it. My x value I know is goods, so electronic goods. My 0.125, I said it's, it's a starting point. So really, if I made the goods value 0, then I'm still going to, it's still the cost that exists without anything. So my 1250 is my upfront cost, or the cost of doing business. It, even if I don't do anything, I never make an electronic good. I have to drop 1250 just to have the equipment that I would need. And the 145, I said, is how much it changes. So really, I could say that the 145 is um, the cost per unit. So like if I were to make a graph, the x value would be uh, units of goods, and then the cost would be over here. So to show that I go up versus over, that would be cost per unit because it'd be a division, hence the word per right there. Now, the answers are the cost of production per unit, da 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 da. There you go. The number of units produced. The number of units produced, I don't know. That would be um, X, whatever I plug it in to be. The total cost of production they've already uh, identified as C. And the initial setup cost we talked about being that thing at the end that's the upfront cost. So the answer to number four is A.